text, important notice. The demonstration shown in this video is intended to provide an overview on the installation of a 3M high flow filter into a 3M 40 inch or 60 inch sanitary high flow housing. Prior to actual use of any 3M product, please read and understand the product installation and use instruction manual. 3M. Science. Applied to life. A wide filter's opening. The installation of a 3M high flow filter into a 3M sanitary high flow housing is a simple process. A chrome tube. First identify the housing end with the handle attached. Loosen the four clamps on the housing lid. A man in black glove spins the clamps to loosen them from the lid. Swing open the housing lid. Note the support post that runs the length of the housing. A metal rod in the tube center. This is used to guide the filter into the housing base. The notched end of a high flow filter fits into the housing base via a twist to lock seating mechanism that provides a positive leak proof seal. A filter end next to the housing base. Wet the high flow filter o-ring, then carefully guide the filter over the support post and into the high flow housing. A positive stop will be reached. Push forward lightly while simultaneously turning the filter in a clockwise direction. The filter will then insert further and reach another positive stop. Stop pushing forward and simply turn in a clockwise direction until it is not possible to turn the filter further. Installed filter. This will happen after roughly one quarter turn. The filter is now locked in place and ready for use. To ensure this, gently pull back on the filter without turning the handle. An arrow drawing. It should not be possible to remove it. In the event it does release, repeat the entire installation process. Text, guide filter over support post. The white filter slides into the housing. Text, positive stop number one. Push forward and turn clockwise. Positive stop number two. Turn clockwise one quarter turn. Here is a cutaway view of the installation process. The filter's end rotates around the chrome support post. Ensure the O-ring is properly seated in the O-ring groove on the housing. He rubs the opening. Grasp the lower right side of the housing lid and gently lift up until the housing lid is roughly aligned with the housing. He slots the clamps under the lid. Move each of the four clamps into the slots on the housing lid ensuring the washer on each is at the top of the threaded post. He tightens the clamps by twisting. While keeping the housing lid roughly aligned with the housing, hand tighten each of the four clamps. He tightens the final clamp under the lid. The lid clamp shut. Then, use a rigid bar to tighten each clamp by roughly one quarter turn until the housing lid contacts the housing. He fully tightens the clamps. When testing is complete and after draining the housing, loosen the four clamps on the housing lid. Swing the housing lid open. Grasp the filter handle and turn in the counterclockwise direction until no longer possible. This will occur after roughly one quarter turn. The filter is now disengaged from the seating mechanism and can be removed from the high flow filter housing. He pulls the filter out of the housing. Text. 3M. Science. Applied to life. Technical information. The technical information, guidance, and other statements contained in this document or otherwise provided by 3M are based upon records, tests, or experience that 3M believes to be reliable, but the accuracy, completeness, and representative nature of such information is not guaranteed. Such information is intended for people with knowledge and technical skills sufficient to assess and apply their own informed judgment to the information.